Greetings, everybody. Uh, here is my weekly dash cam. Again, I was a little bit lazy, didn't go on drive and set anything up, so I just go ahead and decided I'm going to discuss what was on my mind uh, in regards to car stuff this, this week. So, recently I had tuned my Focus ST uh, to a Stage 3 Club Sport, but now I'm wanting to move to some more uh, interesting fuel options. Uh, so I was wanting to run race gas, but race gas is really expensive, uh, and it gets kind of pricey in any way if you're going to start trying to commute or move anywhere where you want to go drive on race fuel. So I, I don't feel like paying $9 a gallon and then driving around on that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so I've been toying with some color, a couple other options. I was looking at Torco Accelerator, uh, which is a race fuel concentrate, but it's technically not really race gas. Uh, it's more of like an octane booster to try to kind of just give you those extra, that extra oomph that you're wanting. Uh, but there's been some things with turning plugs orange, and that really doesn't too bother me too much. It's not, I've seen plenty of race cars running it. Uh, so, but it's just something that I've been kind of wanting to think about. Uh, but for some uh, areas of the country, this is a very plentiful option. And in Southern California, there's some good places to go get E85. Uh, I do dig the options that E85 gives you. You start running ex uh, cooler exhaust temperatures, uh, and the engine just overall runs cooler. So it's something that I've been really uh, considering uh, with the next level for the ST. Uh, so I was going to record this um, via NCAR and do a data log session in the car and just kind of have you guys see that. Uh, but it's already at nighttime. We just finished the podcast. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to have to find a nice quiet time uh, this evening to go do a data log in the car. Uh, I require it every single time I send something to the tuner. Uh, via the Cobb Access Port with Mountain. So that's going to be next on my agenda. Uh, I've already eaten dinner, so now it's time to uh, relax and go do fun, fun car business. Uh, so this is going to probably be a pretty quick one. Um, I've just been kind of toying with the ideas of which way to go for fuel tuning for the ST, which should be a very, very fun thing to do. Uh, just hoping that I might be able to get a little extra oomph out of the car uh, from... The funny thing that you see with E85 to tuning with regular 91, um, <laughs> this is this is just blows my mind that a stock Focus ST uh, with an E85 tune will be quicker than a Stage 3 car. That bothers me a little bit. All you have to do is run an alternative fuel and you can do that. There might be a few other things that you could possibly have to do, but all in all, you, all you have to do is run really, really... It's an easy option. You run just a little bit of fuel tuning, and uh, and you get to have a very very fast car. Uh, so I'm trying to imagine what stage three uh, plus E85 is going to be like. Uh, from what I'm hearing, uh, if you run an, a uh, allegedly run an aftermarket downpipe, uh, sport cap downpipe, uh, that it doesn't really do anything because on E85 because you're running such cooler exhaust temps, which is one of the major benefits of running a aftermarket downpipe uh, on turbo cars. So it's there so I can enjoy when I'm running on 91 maps. Uh, just now I have to start doing math at the pump. Uh, I don't want to be doing math all the time. But you know what? I'm going to have to live with a new option. So it should be kind of fun. and something very, very fun to think about. So uh, please, uh, if you guys are experts on this subject, please hit, a bus, uh, hit us up on the Canva Tub uh, Facebook page. Sound off in the comments below. Uh, for what your experiences are with the subject, uh, how you feel about E85, how you feel about race gas, and how you feel about Torco. See what you guys think. Uh, so I'm going to go break from here uh, and go find a quiet stretch of road, uh, allegedly, to go do a battle on. Uh, so uh, I should be good to go with that, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.